President Biden is meeting with fellow world leaders in Japan on his first day of the G7 summit. The seven nations unveiling new sanctions against Russia, just as Ukrainian President Zelensky is preparing a surprise trip to join the leaders this weekend. It comes as the debt ceiling talks in Washington loom over the president's trip. And in just into our newsroom, we found out a GOP negotiator says it is time to press pause on debt limit talks. Now it's unclear when the process will resume. President Joe Biden gathering with fellow world leaders in Hiroshima, Japan for the Group of Seven Summit. The nations unveiling tough new sanctions on Russia meant to choke off Moscow's war financing and further disrupt its ability to sustain its invasion of Ukraine. This as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky prepares to make a surprise appearance this weekend to continue appealing for more military assistance. The geopolitical and diplomatic significance of these meetings should not be understated. Zelensky moving to firm up and widen international support as his forces here in eastern Ukraine go on the offensive. At the Hiroshima Peace Memorial, Biden and his G7 counterparts paying tribute to the lives lost there 78 years ago, meeting privately with the survivor of the first atomic bomb used in warfare. The location significant as the Japanese prime minister's hometown underscoring the host's continued efforts to rid the world of nuclear weapons. Today, the U.S. president departing the G7 leaders' dinner early to receive an update from Washington about how talks are going on the debt ceiling. This weekend, a critical deadline for negotiations. A deal must be reached to allow Congress enough time to vote on it to ensure the U.S. doesn't go into default. Biden had also met with his team the day before, where officials say he was informed steady progress is being made and that the president remains confident a deal can be reached. I see the path that we could come to an agreement. And I think we have a structure now. According to sources today, President Biden endorsed plans to train Ukrainian pilots on U.S.-made F-16 fighter jets. Biden told the leaders that decisions on when, how many, and who will provide the fighter jets for Ukraine to use in the battle will be made in the months ahead while the training is underway.